Support for Living Culture is provided in part by Fitz Seafoods, Easy Orchards Farm Market, McKay Ranch, and by Work Unlimited. In the Willamette Valley, sunshine and warm weather are just around the corner. And for Jordan Blake, now is the time to organize volunteers to plant seeds for the Marion Polk Food Share Garden Program. Over the last few months, Jordan has been building his coalition for this year's growing season and engaging in regular meetings with community partners. You know, I definitely see our, 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 our niche here as being one to create hope uh, to grow food and to um, bring uh, bring into awareness, you know, the, 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 the fact that with a little bit of help, a lot of coordination, and uh, shared resources, we can put together pretty amazing garden projects um, that help to feed our community. Meanwhile, volunteers have been gathering at the garden sites to spread soil and build raised beds. Today, we visit with a group of volunteer gardeners at the greenhouses of Pringle Creek. Well, we're getting ready for the spring. There are a lot of events happening in the gardens throughout Salem and the ones that I'm working in that I'm really excited about and other people are getting really excited about. And it's, it's a big planning time. We are here today kind of on calendar to plant the seeds uh, that will fill this greenhouse. Uh, a greenhouse that Pringle Creek has graciously uh, allowed uh, Marion Polk Food Share and volunteers uh, the use of. This really could and should be a real hub for a lot of the, uh, the vegetables that are going to be planted in a lot of the other gardens. So I think, you know, for this year we're really trying to create a foundation of what we can do, what the possibilities are, and, you know, when you're gardening everything has to be planned in advance and organized and all those things. So it's a continuous process, but I think this is a real foundational part of potentially for all the gardens in Salem. So it's an, it's an important place. So this activity we're doing today is just um, planting pepper seeds so that we'll grow them here in the greenhouse and then we'll plant them out in the community garden for them to grow. And then once they produce the fruit that we hope they do, um, then we'll be able to give that back to Marion Polk Food Share. That's one of the things that a lot of people apparently were asking for last year, so we're really concentrating on peppers, peppers, peppers. Uh, universally liked something that kind of spices up the average uh, uh, group of foods that they offer at the pantry, so I think that's mainly what we're planning today. Uh, we've selected a variety, a crop, uh, that will go in uh, both to this garden as well as things that we can uh, grow here uh, to make available to the school gardens and community gardens that we partner with and uh, we're just utilizing this beautiful space. And uh, there's probably 10 or 15 of us here today and that's just kind of the beginning of the spring. We've got a lot of space to fill up here so I imagine we'll be doing this several more times during the spring. Well, I think I told you I'm not real good at filling pots but, but I'm a wicked seed yeah. planter. Good deal, good deal. We're also uh, trying to create a face of the community garden program here uh, in the valley, the mid-valley, uh, to reflect the diversity of our area and to uh, work with thousands of uh, youth and hundreds of volunteers to grow at least 100,000 pounds of produce this year. Uh, that's a mark that we will have reached four years in a row now. So we're just trying to have that community outreach because it is really important. These are like gorgeous greenhouses and not everyone has something like that to grow food. 
So like the fact that we have that resource that we can share is really great so that we can help other people out and help out the food share by just providing our resources that otherwise they wouldn't really be used right now. So I enjoy being closer to the food I eat, knowing where it's coming from. I know that um, what, we, what we get out of it, both what we eat, but also what we share with each other and the experience with each other, we have a lot to gain from it, a lot to you know, fill both our stomachs and both our and our hearts with with the communities we we can create in this in this manner. I've just always been really interested in gardening. I mean, my mom has a really glorious garden, so I've always kind of been into that. And I just like that I can come out here, you know, after a busy day at school and just literally work in the land. Like, it's such a different feeling. It's so like gratifying. I don't know. I just like that. Like, you plant a flower and then it grows. And it looks beautiful. <laughs> So it's nice, I don't know, it's nice to be out in nature. Well, I personally think it's important because uh, it, whether you're Republican or Democrat, I think it's unacceptable, the hunger rate in this state and across the country. And I think, uh, you know, as a community, we have to, everybody has to do something. And uh, in particular, with Marion Polk Food Share, they have such a fantastic program with the 30 plus community gardens that um, I, I don't think people really know what a gem it is and what an opportunity it is. So. For myself, I'm just trying to get out there and discover it and be a part of it and try and contribute and hopefully encourage other people to contribute.